style their hopeful soulmate in Dress to Impress on ITV2. More great entertainment? That's a big tick from me. Trust a Trader, sponsoring ITV2 Daytime. Trust a Trader. One stylish singleton looking for love. I'm very single right now. I'm excited. I'm having three girls shopping for me today. Yeah. What is going on? <laughs> three fashion savvy suitors vying for a date. Let the games begin. If she's a little fashion killer, then that's my type of girl. I would wear this outfit. Oh, they just think he looks like a road traffic cone. Only the strong survive. If they find a style connection in shopping challenges. You have to keep up. I'm gay. I walk quick. <laughs> Oh my god, three minutes! <laughs> the socks and the shoes! <laughs> Haven't got time for this. They'll win a date. Ooh, wow. Okay. This is stressful, man. This is very stressful. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Don't I deserve the best? But for love to be on the cards. It's gonna suck him in right now. Have you got the yick yet? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let the best gay win. They'd better dress. Oh, sexy builder vibes. Right, Bob. Bob with a builder. To impress. Never felt <laughs> so unme in all my life. Looking like a delicious cross between a member of The Darkness and the Laura Ashley catalogue, let's meet the boy hoping to be wowed by the fashion choices of three complete strangers. Hi, I'm Harvey, I'm from Essex, I'm 21, and I run a pre-loved designer boutique for a charity. I hope pre-loved doesn't mean what I think it does. I love, love, love clothes. I'm a sucker for a designer label. Anything that's a bit weird and a bit wonderful, get it in my wardrobe. <laughs> I've got an Oompa Loompa costume I'm willing to part with for the right price. Everyone stares at me when I walk down the street and I just love the attention. <laughs> Especially when you're dressed as Neo from The Matrix on his way to a discotheque. I'm such a sucker for shoes. The biggest platforms, the most uncomfortable shoes, they're mine. I have to have them. I'll stick to my comfy espadrilles if that's OK with you. My tattoos are something else. Um, they are all very random. I think I'm about 30 tattoos, including the one I did myself on my own leg. Don't try that at home, kids. I love my little alien on my arm or my baguette. To be honest, I'll love them all. I can't pick a favourite. A baguette tattoo. If that doesn't get you a free coffee at Pret, I don't know what will. I've been single for just over two years now, but now ready to find my, like, husband. He's looking for someone hairless, with no ears and a 12-inch neck. Um, I like someone quite manly, plays like sports and stuff, like the polar opposite of me, basically. Just think it works really well. Exactly! You don't want them nicking your zebra skin platforms. Today, Harvey is in Manchester, heading to our Dress to Impress VIP dressing room. Harvey, who, as you can see, has come dressed as a vampire, will be spending the day hiding away from the sunshine, trying on clothes chosen by three guys he's never met. And joining him will be his friends Rebecca and Nicole. Okay. Oh, there's Prosecco. Do we need a drink? <laughs> we need a drink. Who <laughs> doesn't need a drink? I'm sorry to report, it's not blood. <laughs> I'm feeling great. After me glass of Prosecco, I feel like anything can happen. I mean, what more could I want? A boyfriend? To finding love, everyone. Oh, to love. Cheers. <laughs> For anyone wondering what happens to Bungle from Rainbow, I think this guy might have the answer. Hi, guys. My name's Sam. I'm 24. I'm from Warrington, and I'm a tattoo artist. Ever done a baguette? I love my job. I love to make amazing designs that go on people's skin forever. If you could also tattoo a drink and a snack, you could give Harvey the full meal deal. If I had to describe my fashion, I'd say it's like a Bratz doll meets a Chucky doll. So, a Bucky doll. I'm really into sheer clothing. I love ripped jeans. Anything that I can wear to show off as much flesh as possible while still being able to fit into society. Unbelievably, we're now seeing his winter wardrobe. I've been single for many, 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 many months. Would have had more of an impact if you'd said years. I'm very picky when it comes to boys. I get the ick very easily. <coughs> a boy eating cereal, ick. A boy running with a backpack on, ick. Boy doing the baby voice, like, oh, I'm so sorry, ick. Shout out to the graphics team. I'm sorry you feel that way, by the way, Sammy Poo. So, do you think you've got what it takes to win? 
I'm fabulous, I'm amazing, I'm a complete diva, I have fashion sense to the wall, and I think I have what the other guys can't bring. Like a list of icks as long as your arm. What is your ideal person, though, really? Someone that Anyone out with me. <laughs> yes, I yeah. Not that fussy, then. <laughs> Let's meet our next guy. Call me crazy, but there's no way he's fitting on that bike. <laughs> Hi, I'm Victor. I'm 22 years old. I live in Manchester and I work as a barista. Are you sure you've got your name right? I know how baristas can be. I'm half Brazilian, half Italian, so living in a place like the UK, I feel like I'm very exotic. Nothing more exotic than giving a lap dance to some rough ground. What else do you do? I've been literally making music since I was a kid, and now I'm just recording in a recording studio, and I'm just living my pop star life, in my head, maybe. Amazingly, that's the same studio where Beyonce recorded Renaissance. My style is very colourful, extra, very cartoony, I would say. Your style of walking is pretty extra too. I really like my hair to match my outfit. I'm obsessed with lilac, light blue and pastel colours. You would love my man's flat. I've been single for nearly two years now, so I feel like it's time for me to just, you know, jump on it. Yeah, jump back on that alpaca of love. I don't really have a type of guy. I just tend to see beauty in everyone, and I could literally like three different guys at the same time. No, that's not a good thing to say, right? And it'd be worse if Harvey said it, we wouldn't have a show. Do you feel that your style's changed quite a lot since, like, we've known each other? Yeah. Like, I used to wear, like, huge T-shirts and, like, I jeans. remember you used to, like, wear the jeans and Converse. And now yeah. it's, like... Like someone's dad. One extreme to the other. <laughs> now I'm not <laughs> someone's mum. Yeah, if their mum was Vlad the Impaler. <laughs> Is that Lord of the Dance Michael Flatley? No, it's our final boy. Hi, uh, I'm Jack. I'm 28, and I'm a private school teacher from Coventry. Ah, Coventry, the capital of Ireland. I've been Irish dancing since I was about six years old, uh, competing my whole life till I was about 22, um, and I've been teaching ever since. You've been dancing since you were six? You must be exhausted. My fashion style is a little bit different, I think. I don't really look at what's in fashion. I just look online pretty much, um, and what I like is what I'll buy. Yes, he did actually order his denim to be cut off there. I do actually wear a pair of Crocs. <laughs> uh, they're not my perfect hangover shoes. Do you mean you bought them when you were drunk? So, yeah, I do like to wear those, but I know they're a big no-go for other people, but they're a big yes for me. Even the dog's just left in disgust. <laughs> Anything else we should know before we get cracking? I am actually already married. Sorry, what? <laughs> I got married in Vegas a couple of months ago. Quite a public way to try and have an affair. I am married to my lesbian best friend. Comes as a bit of a shock to some people when I tell them. No kidding! Has anyone consulted the Dress to Impress rulebook about this? I don't know what to expect. I'm really kind of like open-minded to everything, I think. Oh, that's good. I'm here to try something different. Good. While Harvey waits and enjoys the fizz with his friends, the three guys competing for his attention meet for the first time. So what do you expect from the guy they were going to shop for? I've never shopped for anyone else before, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping that he's a good-looking lad. Uh, hopefully someone who's going to be ready to have a good laugh. I'm not that picky. I just like him. Um, good teeth, clean nails, rich parents. Preferably old, rich parents. <laughs> as long as they meet that criteria, they're fine. Look away, your parents, people. It's time for the boys to take a look at who they're going to be dressing today. Hi, I'm Harvey from Essex. I manage a pre-love designer boutique. I've been single for two years, so dress me to impress me. Oh, okay. Okay. Ginger. Right, Ginger, Maybe. Ginger. Come on, he's hardly Ed Sheeran. I don't know what is it with me, but I really like the Essex accent. I'm, I'm obsessed with it. Completely not what I was expecting, but I'm kind of into like the whole like vampire moment with like the frilly shirt. Very like extra. Bit of a challenge to dress him, I think. Yeah, like I can imagine that like vintage boutique. So this guy knows fashion. Oh my god, it's <laughs> gonna be a challenge. We got oh, this. <laughs> we got this. Pound it, guys. Pound it. Bring it in. Woo! We got it. We got it. Yeah, he's a good looking lad. I've got a little thing for gingers, so that was the first tick when he first popped up. Um, another one is a bit out there with his clothing, which I quite like. Um, nice statement pieces and stuff, so yeah, fingers crossed. I feel confident, I look good in case I win. Oh no, just let some money pass it. I will win. I have no idea how to piece together an outfit. Um, it's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna give it my best. Come on now, don't do yourself down. You've dressed yourself after all, haven't you? Actually, uh, I do see what you mean. It's round one, which means each guy will shop for an outfit to try and win Harvey over. He will have absolutely no idea which boy is behind each look. The person who chooses his least favourite outfit will get dumped, leaving the remaining two to battle it out for a date. 
Harvey is about to reveal the first challenge. I hope you're ready for this one, fellas. Managing a designer boutique means that I can never underdress. So go out and find me some statement trousers, statement shirt, an amazing statement outfit, and of course, I need some heels. Good luck, guys. I knew he was gonna say heels, because like, he gives me that vibe, you know, like vampire, like M Middle Eve. And heels, <laughs> never bought them before, so I need my wife. <laughs> could be a good statement, could be a bad statement. Either way, it's gonna be fun to watch, so stay tuned. I think it'd go either way, realistically. They could do really well or really bad, but I don't really know what's out there at the minute, mainstream-wise, so we'll see. I think I'll be a shock to everyone what I'm going to come out in. Ah, well, I'm looking forward to this. Armed with Harvey's clothes and shoe sizes, the guys have £150 and just half an hour to find an outfit for him. Birthday boy Sam's on a mission and is about to ask the biggest question in fashion. Is glitter too much? Is glitter too much of a statement? Not if the statement you want to make is, look at how I sparkly black, I am. Black, is black too basic? Is that too, like, simple? Statement. That's definitely a statement. And they're vegan. Great. He can eat them after the show. Right. Um, 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 I'm going to go with silver because I'm going for, like, a Dorothy, like, Wizard of Oz, um, because in the original film, they were silver, and then they had to change them to red, so that's going to be my little thing, that's going to be my theme I'm going for. 24 or 22.49. Either way, it's, been, it's, with, it's within budget, we've got this. Jack's not feeling very at home in the girls' department. Oh, this is hard, being in the girls' shops. Maybe get a white T-shirt underneath that. I don't know if it's a bit too much. Not if you miss his downfire. This is nice and patterned, big statement. This is exactly what I want. I want something a little bit baggy. Um, and a complete clash of the pattern on the bottom, so I think this could be the one. We're all wondering, aren't we? Is Victor going to match the outfit he buys with Harvey's allegedly ginger hair? Oh, no, definitely not that. Not this. But I, I quite... I, I would wear that. I would wear all of that. No. I'm looking for a shirt. I'm looking for a shirt. You're wearing one. Am I going for short pants or long pants? What am I going for? Is there a tiny shop assistant just out of shot here? I feel like I need to change store. This is not the right store at all. Coming up, Sam takes it easy. Oh, I'm so chill. We've got all the time. I'm going to just kick it back. Go up in style. Heels are giving Jack a hard time. Dreading getting these heels in. I know what I'm going to do. Oh, man. And Victor shows off his dance skills. If I dance for you, could you give me a discount? Next time. We've got to do it anyway. <laughs> Another great show? That's just the job. Trust a Trader, sponsoring ITV2 Daytime. TrustAtrader.com This Black Friday, let's split the bill. That means super fast BT broadband for only $14.49 a month for six months. With no upfront costs. Pay half the price for half a year on a 24-month contract. Plus, it comes with a £20 money-back speed guarantee. Offers like this only come once in a blue moon or a Black Friday. Hurry, offer ends 8th of December. The world can be a frightening place if you're a child with cancer. I'm Anna, and as a social worker from Young Lives vs Cancer, I'm there for families in their darkest hour. At Young Lives vs Cancer, we help with everything from money worries to mental health, and we've never been needed more. Can you give £3 a month to help brave children and families through the scariest days of their lives? The day that his hair started falling out was a really hard day because the minute that it starts coming out, you can see your child has cancer. A child's cancer diagnosis is always traumatic. And for their families, cancer will bring terrible anxiety, isolation and money problems. Cancer wants to destroy young lives. But by giving £3 a month to Young Lives vs Cancer, you can stop it tearing families apart. Please call 0800 144 5753, text CHILD1 to 70960 or search Young Lives vs Cancer to give today. I felt like my life ended in that moment. I've felt like I was living in a nightmare. Please, don't let families face cancer alone. 
Call 0800 144 5753. Text child 1 to 70960 or search Young Lives vs Cancer today. Thank you. Another entertaining programme? That's just a job. Trust a Trader, sponsoring ITV2 Daytime. Trust a Trader. Welcome back to Dress to Impress, where, armed with £150 and just half an hour, three single men are battling it out to win a date with Harvey. Despite only having a pair of shoes so far, Sam's focusing on jewellery. Rings. I don't know his ring size. That could be a gamble. At least go on a few dates before you ask him that. I feel like maybe, maybe this. That could work, like a body chain with that. Oh, I'm so chill. We've got all the time. I'm going to just kick it back. Go up in style. Style? It's just an escalator in a clothes shop, mate. Oh, here we go. We've got a competition here. Oh, it's size 16. I think that's going to be too baggy. Oh, this could be the one. Mmm. One or the other. You know what? I think I'm going to go for the pink one. Let's go for this one. Sold. Still empty-handed and heading into a different store, Victor's hoping to find his vintage-style shirt for Harvey. These ones are very cute. I mean, this is very dark. I could see him in this. Like, his hair matches the, these little orange things. I'd say it matches the brown things better. Yeah, definitely. Between all of them, this one's the cutest. It's adorable. Hi. Yeah, I'm good. If I dance for you, could you give me a discount? <laughs> I I'm going to be famous one day, I promise. Next time. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> She's actually adding 25% to the price right now. The change, of course. Right. Thank you. Bye. With only a shoe and a necklace in his hands, Sam's starting to feel the pressure. I'm panicking again. Right, so there's this. That statement, does it go? No. Is this in like a, ooh, like a white maybe? That's cute, love that, add the basket. Well, I'm a shopping for me, because like I'd wear this, it's animal print, it's cute. Right, bouts, bouts, bouts. Jack trying the Beetlejuice approach to summon the belts there. Yeah, that's a good match. Right, I'm taking those. Thank you. Brilliant, thanks very much. Right, six minutes gone. Let's go. Pattern trousers. Here we go. Dreading getting these heels. I don't know what I'm going to do. Don't know where to go. <laughs> Nothing that I've bought before. Oh, man. Pro tip, despite the name, you can't buy shoes in boots. Oh, this is it. Right. £25.99. Do you know what? This could be it. Thank you. Nice one. Cheers. Right, let's get out of here. Maybe a blazer. A blazer's a look. So we're going to go for a 10 in the blazer. And then I feel like the blazer, the shirt, the shoes, this is a vibe already. I've got ages. I don't need to panic. Time's on my side. I mean, I'm not excited for the mainstreams, I must say. Um, but we'll see. They might have done some good copies of some of the nice stuff. <laughs> Maybe not, but we'll see. I don't want to come across like a, a brand, like, snob. But a bit I am, really, realistically speaking. If you don't want to come across as a brown snob, maybe don't say you are one on national TV. That would be amazing. He would love that. He would definitely love that. Size eight. If they don't have it, I'm literally going to cry. It's finally nice to see someone emotionally invested in the task. Oh, they don't have it. Oh, they don't have it. Ah. Oh, I really like these ones. I have no options, no more options. Green, what about green? Do they have size eight? They have size eight in here. Green. Green, green. I think Victor might have short-circuited. Like, this has green, so it will match. Yeah, yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. I'll get that. Phew! And now for some accessories. Gold, gold, gold. This is cute, not too much, but still statement, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get that. There you go. Thank you. I'll just put everything in one. Thank you. Shirt, trousers and necklace bought. All he needs now is some shoes. And the same goes for Jack. 
wonder if that will go here. Let's pull this out. I'm just thinking whether that just nice and simple on the bottom. Don't have to be loud the whole time, does it? Right, size eight. That's a six. Come on. Five. No eight. Ah. Oh, there's a seven. I'll just write an apology and say sorry. Sorry that you've got such massive feet. I'm not sure how that's going to go down. Oh dear. You get into that. <laughs> Does it suit me? I think you're going to struggle to Irish dance in them. Not the shoes I was hoping for. One of these. Look at that. Got a seven to the till. Those shoes must have cut off the blood flow to your brain. 30 quid. He's an eight. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Right, let's go. As Jack makes a dash for his accessories, so does Sam. That's cute. It all adds together. I love it. Right, so, yeah, that's 4 99 That's in budget. Adds a basket. Boy saying, adds a basket. Egg. It's Yeah, I'm in budget. Perfect. Have an amazing day. Thank you. Amazingly, Sam's gone from having no idea to finishing first and with time to spare. Sam's got it in the bag. Ah! Was that a Victor or did the security alarm just go off? Oh, these ones are very really cute. These ones are very really cute. I'm very confident that these ones are going to look cute with that outfit. So I'm not going to think about it. I've got four minutes. Like, let's buy a random thing. That. Definitely that. 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 Right. Uh, what size shoe? What size? Eight. Eight. That. <sighs> okay, I'm sweating. Need to strip. They're not going to give you a discount for that either, Victor. 89. 89. 89. Ah! Okay, just keep everything I've got. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Bag of turns into a bag. Oh no, the shoes are there. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. I love you. You can't imagine how much I love you right now. Ah! Ah! My bag. Wait. Looking like Manchester's most conspicuous shoplifter, Victor is done. Jack's rounding off his outfit with a necklace and a ring. Is a married man allowed to give someone else a ring? Thank you. Top, thanks very much. And time's up. Yeah! I've done it, I've done it. So he has to choose me, because I'm literally sweating right now. So I'm pretty confident now. I don't think I played it too safe. The shoes aren't safe, the shirt's not safe. They are both highly flammable. The wait is finally over for Harvey. Whoever's outfit he decides is the worst will be dumped. And remember, he is completely in the dark about who is behind each look. First up, it's Jack's outfit to try on. Sorry about the sizes. Hope your feet don't mind a squeeze. And if you don't like the shirt, I'll have it for myself. Oh. See you in the next round. Ooh. I've got this like sick t-shirt. It's like bright pink. Right. Um, it's got like white tigers on it. Okay. Pajamas. Okay. okay. Shirt, no. We don't mind that. I, yeah. It could have been worse. I see you in that. Yeah. I've got a nice gold belt to go with it. Right. Um, and I was going to get some patterned trousers as well, but couldn't find any. So I've got some nice, like, they were like bright green trousers. So a bit of a clash of uh, okay. colours. Oh, they're, like they're all right. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I could have worn them. Yeah. If it's something you would choose, I can definitely, definitely see you in They're definitely a new trouser that I can see you in those. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then there's the one thing I'm really very worried about, which I don't really want on my body. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the only thing. No. <laughs> it's gone downhill very quickly. And then it's got some black heels, which I'm really struggled with finding the heels. I was really out of my comfort zone with those. Oh, they're not going to go. They're a seven. But, you know, but they're good. That's a good try. It's, I mean, yeah, they're not a nice shoe. My Ooh. feet are going to be in agony, but we'll see where it happens. <laughs> Wish Get it me on. luck. Get it on. This belt is a crime <laughs> to humanity. Ooh. I really like it. I like the oversized. Yeah, yeah. I love belt. the trousers. I like They're really cute. The belt's not. No. The belt's awful. The belt is absolutely okay, so. awful. Yeah. If that was off, I'm going to take it off, whether I'm allowed to or not. But if you get rid of that. This is just something I'd normally wear. It's done well. Yeah, I think. Not bad. I think it's done really well. Yeah. Not bad at all. Victor's up next. Luckily, he's not bought Harvey a belt. Got hot and sweaty shopping for you. Oh. Hope you'll look hot in these. Okay. <laughs> Please choose me. Oh. I bought this very very cute shirt that had these orange details. As he's uh, ginger. Is he ginger? Right. Like. Yeah, like. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? I like that. I think I'd wear that. Yeah, I can see it on you. That's not I like it. That's not bad. Then I bought this cute green uh, pants. Very like safari. Safari. Safari shake. 
It's not very exciting. It's not wowing me. Do you know what I mean? It's not. I'm not getting out and going, oh, my God, that's amazing. Yeah. It's not very you, but... No. Some shoes, and I'm very last minute, and I just bought a pair of glasses. Ah. Uh, <laughs> um, I... This is the most un-me, I think, one. What yeah, size are they? Because I, I think that's going to matter. But I quite like... They're quite cute. Yeah. I'm not sure if it goes with the rest of the No, outfit, I mean, with the green. I do like the shoes. I don't like the match of silver and gold. I think that's a bit... No. Right. So, <laughs> I think our silence really does speak volumes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right. Wish me luck. Look forward to seeing it. Yeah. yeah. Exciting. <laughs> oh, wow. I feel like an old man. Yes, but one who's having a very lovely holiday at the Algarve. I don't know what to say, really. I don't think he's... <laughs> I've never felt <laughs> so unme in all my life. It's not you at all. No, it's not no. you. And last but not least, it's Sam's outfit. Released your inner beast with this chained tiger look. Today's my birthday. Aww. But it's bad luck to tell people your wish. Maybe you can click together your heels and meet me on the yellow brick road. Enjoy, and he drew a tiger. Oh, like he's really put some effort into he that. He has. Yeah, has, I like that. I went with tigers too, so that might be a bit of an issue. Like, I'm the animal print queen, <laughs> so um, mine is like a bit of like a champagne sort of colour. And if you don't like it, you can cover it up with this huge black jacket. This okay, just a plain, nice black, mm -hmm. little bit of ruching. I like it. Yeah. Nice, mm -hmm. understated, nice. Yeah. fine. I did like a sleek black trouser. It's different. Yeah. Skin tight. Yeah. Skin tight. Ready to see everything, ladies, because it's going to be on display. Yeah. The heels, I went for these little pointed diamante heels. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that on my foot. No. You're going to have to put it on your foot. Yeah. Which part of your body would you rather wear on? I got chains, I got necklaces. Where does that go? Yeah, Across, I think it's the body. Like a, like a dog. Shirt. Like a dog. Might come out crawling. <laughs> <laughs> um, bit of diamante. We'll just leave that one there. Not feeling it. No. It's better than the la. Yeah. Just, I'm there. just going to leave it there, and yeah, we'll just see it on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I love the blouse and the chain over the top. It's really yeah. nice. I think yeah. that's a nice addition. Yeah. Different. The trousers are just the bottom trousers half. are not good. I don't yeah, think the it's really you. Mm. Mm. It's not it's not the worst thing no. I've had on the body. But it's not the best. That's your tattoo of a baguette. Coming up, whose outfit will Harvey get rid of? Will it be Jack's colourful zebra look? Victor's green old man combo? Or Sam's Wizard of Oz inspired outfit? More great entertainment? That's just the job. Trust a Trader, sponsoring ITV2 Daytime. At Neurofen, we know that sometimes regular painkillers alone aren't enough. That's why we developed Neuromol Dual Action. It starts working faster than ibuprofen and lasts longer than paracetamol alone. For all in one pain relief, Neuromol. This is a message for every household in the UK. Everyone is entitled to government help with the cost of living. There are over 40 schemes, from support with energy bills to tax-free childcare, travel costs, and much more. See what you're eligible for at gov.uk forward slash help for households. We are Tombola, Britain's biggest bingo site, where you'll find classic games like Bingo 90 and Bingo 75 Lines. I love Bingo 75 Lines. Five chances to win as well. And there's bingo games you can't play anywhere else, like Pulse and Blocks. If you want to try something different and new, Tombola's the one to go for. Come join the fun at Tombola. This Black Friday at Tesco Mobile, you can get an unlimited data sim for just $17.50 a month with club card prices, saving you a massive £180, which means you can afford to tuck into a few more Christmas treats. Extra savings this Black Friday for extra helpings this Christmas. This is Supermarket Mobile. To switch, pop in store or search Tesco Mobile. Every little helps. Date night. Give it 
breakfast in bed. Give it 100%. Christmas dinner. Give it 100%. Crisp and dry. 100% rapeseed oil. I've always put my family first. That's why I've chosen a pure cremation plan. It's a fuss-free, less expensive alternative to a traditional funeral. When I'm gone, I don't want them to worry about money. I want them to celebrate my life in their own way. They could do something that's fun, something that's me. A pure cremation means no fuss. Everything's sorted in advance and the prepaid plan takes away the stress and cost of organizing a traditional funeral. Their fuss-free cremation service is a less expensive option and you can pay for it all up front. Pure Cremation provides the UK's best-selling plan. It's paid for in advance with no hidden costs guaranteed. Join the thousands of people choosing Pure Cremation every month. Rated excellent on Trustpilot with over 10,000 reviews. Call to request your free guide now on 0800 170 1400 or visit purecremation.tv. To help protect your family from funeral costs or leave them a cash gift when you die, you may be thinking about Over 50's life cover. You want a company you can trust. You might want one that's been there for customers for 20, 30, 50 years. Sun Life is a name you know, not a newcomer with no track record. Sun Life pays every single claim. The good news is Sun Life's Over 50's plan is also really affordable. They guarantee to accept you. No wonder Sun Life is the market leader. Choose Sun Life today, and as a thank you, you'll also get a free £110 welcome gift card to spend at thousands of stores and online. And you could win £10,000 in our big cash draw. So don't delay. Call 0800 50 55 50 or search Sun Life Plan today. More great entertainment? That's a big tick from me. Trust a Trader, sponsoring ITV2 Daytime. This is Dresser Impress, where Harvey has just tried on three outfits chosen by three guys he's never met, who are all battling to win his affections through clothes alone. The guy whose outfit he likes the least is about to be sent packing. Right, thanks everyone for going shopping for me. There some hits and misses. The one I'm getting rid of is this one. It's absolutely awful. Didn't How it dare really you? Way too safe. The shoes are vile. But thanks so much and good luck for the future, darling. Uh, that looks really, really good on him. It's I giving mean, like, me bleach stained. Like that yeah, looks like the shirt what? that I do my Those dishes in. Those glasses look better on me than on him. <laughs> but, but we went shopping I mean... for you, where we hon? <laughs> I wish you both good luck, and it's been nice to see you, Anne. It's yeah. nice to see you too. Next time. Next time. OK, bye now. Bye. 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 Oh, I'm gutted, honestly. But to be honest, like, this is his loss, cos I feel like that outfit was so cute. I'm a little bit nervous for the next round now, cos, like, this guy is just going to rip them apart. Yeah, I felt out my depth for last one, so God knows what's coming next. Oh, God. Before the remaining guys get ready to dig in for round two, Harvey gets to see who he's let go. Hi, Harvey. I hope you made a good choice. For me, it was not a good choice because, I mean... Look at that. You're missing all of that. I could have performed for you as well, so you missed out, honestly. But, yeah, kisses. Oh, oh bless. Oh. Well, well, he wasn't boring, was he? No, he not what I was expecting. Well, Delivery. <laughs> on to the next. <laughs> That's the spirit. Sam and Jack are in the final shopping challenge and they are about to find out what the brief is. So, for our day today, we are going pizza making. So, I'm thinking we go for an Italian chic look, maybe based around a little, like, cravat or something. But I'm giving you pretty much free reign, but you know my style, so good luck. Oh, God, that's a lot to think about, isn't yeah. it? I'm not giving too much away. I've got some thoughts in my head. Oh, I'll bet you do. Yeah. I'll bet you do. <laughs> so I'm looking for something with a bit of an Italian flair, maybe a jumpsuit, maybe something like a bit, you know, different, easy to move around in. But I know jumpsuits are difficult, so it could be a, a messy one. <laughs> Let's hope so. With a romantic pizza date with Harvey now at stake, our remaining boys have to battle it out in the final shopping showdown. 
Oh, I'm chuffed to be through to the last round. Um, again, brief is a little bit out of my comfort zone. I think we're going to go a little bit plainer this time, but I've got no idea what a cravat is, so it's going to be interesting, I think. Pizza making. What does a pizza maker wear? What's like a chic way to look like a chef without wearing white? You could just dress him up like Delia. I have no idea what a cravat is. I've never heard of it. I assume it's like a neckerchief or maybe like a bandana. Armed with an increased budget of £200, the lads have half an hour to find an Italian-inspired outfit for Harvey. I'm predicting three minutes of shopping and 27 minutes of trying to work out what a cravat is. They're quite smart. Uh, yeah, look for a 28 waist, please. Yeah. Have you got them? Seems like Jack has hit the ground running, but will Sam be as speedy? You know what, I might take the trousers. Okay. Hello. Here he is. Did you find crevasses here? These aren't crevasses, these are ties. Crevasses? He's not going potholing, he wants a cravat. They're quite smart. 45. I need to get, I think I'm going to leave shoes till last. 80, thank you so much. Jack has bagged his first item, while Sam can't even work out what his first item should be. Hey, Rach, do you have anything that's like a creamy colour? Only this one, A suit? A suit. Suit's not really pe like pizza making attire. Yeah, do you have a big chef's hat and a twirly moustache instead? This one might work. This is quite Italian. I think that, that's quite nice. It's quite glittery. I want this. That's 44. Shoes, shoes, right. Um, these, these are quite like Italian. They're giving me like Gucci. As long as they're not giving you like blisters. I like these. Now, I need, like, a jean, maybe. Excuse me, do you know what a crevasse is? Yes, exactly. OK. Could you explain to me what it is? It's a scarf that goes under the shirt. That makes no sense to me. Me either. And I know what a crevasse is. I quite like in this. It's a medium. I think this is quite nice. I think that I might have panicked by with those trousers and might go for something a little bit lighter, maybe a bit of a stone colour. I think I'm going to take this shirt and um, get out of here and go find somewhere else. Perfect, thank you. Perfect, cheers. See you later. Bye. Sam's also you buying said. a white shirt. It's like the week before school goes back. All right, we got this. I need blue jeans. Yeah, blue jeans well, with this. Right. Okay, we'll get. Do I want this or do I want this? I could take both, but then I need a crevasse. I think there's loads in the Arctic. I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to follow my instincts. We're going with that one. Thank you very much. You Have a nice day. Sam's got his shirt, but Jack is still struggling to find trousers that say pizza. Come on, Jack. What would the Ninja Turtles wear? Hold that up. Is that Italian vibes? Do I risk it? Do you know what? I might risk it and buy these. I think I'm going to risk the shorts. I'm not finding any trousers anywhere. I'm running out of places, running out of time. There's £40, thanks. Lovely. Thank you, Anya. Cheers. Right, let's go. Next shot. Back to get the shoes. Sam is on his way back to the accessories department. So that is five ninety nine. That's fine. The budget will stretch. We're going to get these for now. We might double back on that in a second. Sam's suddenly been distracted by another shirt. Do I bring it home with the horses? A horse is Italian. I guess the ones in Italy must be. That could work. It's kind of. Is it cowboy or is it Italian? Just say it's an Italian stallion. I like that joke. Italian stallion. Thank you. Add to basket. Yeah, Italian stallion. It was a good one, wasn't it? Anyway, on with the show. Right, so this, this goes. We've got gold buttons. We've got the black for the black shoes. The gold matches the jewellery. Like, all of this is pretty cohesive. Jack's off to get the shoes he saw earlier and hopefully get a refund on his trousers. Yeah, these ones are, what, 45 quid? Um, hopefully they've got them in size 8. Hi, oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to return the trousers, I'm really yeah. sorry, but can I get these in an yeah. eight, yeah? I'll do Lovely, thank you. Um, I'm not going to find a cravat, I don't think. I think I'm going to have to write an apology letter. I'd say two apology letters before you've even been on your first date is not a great start. <sighs> this is hard work, this one. I'm feeling the pressure. Oh, nice one. When you get married, come and see me. <laughs> Long story. If you enjoy jokes, here's one. Uh, Italian stallion. No? It doesn't really work out of context. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sam's buying even more accessories. That might work as like a bracelet duo. Oh, perfect. Look, it's like it's got an S for Sam and a love heart. That's a sign. I think that's solid. I think I think we've got it. I think that's it. Is that a crevasse? 
in the middle of a shop. I doubt it. That's a headband. Is that not close enough? That's a bandana. It goes. I'm just going to get it. It's fine. Nine to five. We're in budget. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. And just when the boys feel like the pressure is off, Harvey throws in a little something to keep them on their toes. That's an extra little challenge at the end. I need a little handbag to put all my things in, but not too big, not too small. So good luck trying to find one to match. OK, handbag. Not a clutch, handbag. We've got this, we've got this. Mm. Right, I need to get a belt and a handbag. Right, I know exactly where to go. We'll see. I mean, I'm open to anything, whatever they present me. I'll, I'll have to wear, so there's no real option. <laughs> Very zen, Harvey. I think the Prosecco might have just kicked in. I'm thinking of something that, you know, like you just hold. Like a teddy bear. Right, I think that could be the bout. £18. We're going to go for this. That leaves me five minutes to get to the uh, jewellery shop, see if I can get anything else. Right, these two, this is the one. That's 21. There you go. Spot on, cheers. Right, accessories, and it's done. I think now is the right moment to reveal that Sam has hooves. This is cute. This is very similar to what I had in mind. I just don't like the texture. Uh, he said, not too big, not too small. That's too big. That's too small. This is like Goldilocks. It's just right. Like, it's fine. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Like Goldilocks, don't tell me you're going to fill the handbag with porridge. Jack's using his last few seconds to buy yet more accessories. £15 bargain. Right, I'm going to go for these. That's it. A minute to go. There you go. Thanks. Thanks. And as Thanks. Jack jangles out of the shop, the time is up. Still to come, will Harvey give short shrift to Jack's shorts? <laughs> <laughs> or will he send Sam's cowboy shirt home on the range? It's going to take me about two hours to put it on. <laughs> Another great show. That's a big tick from me. Trust a Trader, sponsoring ITV2 Daytime. Avoid having to make that face this holiday. Discover the gift you never dreamed you wanted. At Emma, we know a great day starts with a great night's sleep. That's why everything we make helps you awaken your best. With our beds, pillows, and the coveted Emma Original Mattress, a witch best buy six years in a row. See for yourself with a no-risk 200-night sleep trial. Order now at emma-sleep.co.uk. This Christmas, gift a lifetime of money skills with GoHenry, the kids' debit card and learning app that makes the perfect stocking filler. For one month free and £10 free pocket money, sign up at gohenry.com forward slash Christmas. Hurry, ends 15th of December. Go Henry, making every kid smart with money. Here we go. The E.E. Black Friday Bonanza is here. Find your favorite deal and grab it. Like this Samsung Galaxy S22 with 576 pounds off. Or get the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 and grab three months free. All on the UK's best network. Count on EE to make your money go further this Black Friday. Here we go again. Hazard avoidance. It's a big part of driving. Oh, watch out. But even if you're the best driver on the road, no one can take evasive maneuvers if they're not behind the wheel. Or predict lightning. Or an escaped herd of cattle. At Direct Line, we do things differently. So when these hazards strike, we won't take away your no-claim discount. Why should you lose out? Scan here to find out more. We're on it. Direct Line. Should I bother with boiler cover? It's freezing cold. As a British gas engineer, I get asked that a lot. British gas? I always say yes. In the past year, we've been called out to fix over 1.8 million broken boilers. But British Gas Boiler Cover starts at just £2.50 a month, and it can help you avoid unexpected repair costs if things go wrong. Bye. Get a little peace of mind from costly repairs from just £2.50 a month. Search British Gas Boiler Cover. Ben doesn't deserve to suffer in filth. Minnie doesn't deserve to be thrown out like rubbish. 
Mika doesn't deserve to be left to starve. No animal deserves to be treated this way. They're not beautiful. But sadly, we get over 84,000 calls to our animal rescue line every month. And right now, the fuel and energy crisis means the cost of running our vital services is rising. But we refuse to let animals suffer as a result. So please, if like us you can't bear to see any animal in distress, call or text the number on screen now to give £2 a month and help bring them to safety. Because, for the most neglected and abused animals, the RSPCA is their only hope of rescue. Animals like Minnie, Ben and Mika, who only want to love and be loved, it's not much to ask. Just two pounds a month could help answer more calls, rescue more animals, and give them the emergency treatment they need. You could help give another dog like Mika the chance of a life free from fear and full of love, which is surely the least that every animal deserves. Please call 0800 313 4365, text RESCUE to 70566, or visit our website to start your monthly donation to the RSPCA. Thank you. Another entertaining programme? That's just the job. Trust a Trader, sponsoring ITV2 Daytime. TrustTrader.com This is Dress to Impress, where Sam and Jack have been battling head-to-head -head in a shopping showdown to find an outfit for our vintage-loving Harvey. But what is your life? Fashion is my life. I sleep, eat and breathe it. Like, I'm always around it, so it is my life. So this is very important, I think. You don't have to eat it, you just have to wear it. That was to the last minute, that one. I had that about so 30 close. seconds left. I don't know how long I had left. It was, like, real close. It was real close that time. And the handbag, that threw me completely. Yeah. Let's hope it doesn't throw Harvey, as it's time for him to see Sam's ensemble. I'm so happy you enjoyed the first outfit, and I hope this next one makes you feel like an Italian stallion. Unfortunately, no cravat, but I found this very chic headband that could be used round the neck. I also found the most perfect heart locket. It must be a sign. For me, Italy inspires light tones, but maybe not around tomato sauce. See you tonight. And then there's a picture, I think, of a horse. Either that, or he's a big fan of the Moomins. There's, like, a, a black T-shirt with this, like, pattern on it. There was, a, like, an overshirt that's got horses. It went a bit cowboy. Oh, right. It went a bit Italian cowboy. There's, like, a lot of gold. I think it's the same shirt with a different print. <laughs> yeah, different animal. <laughs> and there's me saying, oh, yeah, I don't want the same thing again. OK. I don't have any words. Look at it. Mm, it's not you. It's not you. At no. all. I don't know who it would be. My gram. I got some blue jeans that, again, have got, like, a bit of gold. They've got, like, a bit of black on them. <laughs> well... <laughs> Look, what does yeah. it even say? No idea. I can't see you in that. They've got no. writing on and everything. Sorry. I got some simple black brogues. They're not bad, though. I, I quite like them. Yeah. Nice. I think they'd look OK. I'm just not but sure. But there's no socks, is there? They're nice. They don't go with the jeans. And then I picked up... It's supposed to be a headband, but it's, like, a sort of chains, gold, like, very Italian fabric um, that I thought, shove it on your head. It's a crevasse, like... It's a cravat! <laughs> the headband <laughs> that right. he said you could wear around the neck. Mm, I don't think I, I will be doing that. No. No. I did steal a couple of things from Victor's first outfit, like the gold necklaces <laughs> and the chain, and I'm like, oh, that got him sent home. But I thought, risk it, you know what yeah. I mean? And there's an S on it. So Ooh. maybe... S. So maybe his name begins maybe with Maybe it's an S. his initial. Yeah. OK. I think these are chokers. And then Is a load of little bracelets. Show. Oh, they're quite cute. Nice. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. I mean, they're not yeah. bad. Yeah. They'll okay. kind of just layer up all right. Sam finished up the outfit with a bag for the final challenge and a black belt because he loves karate. Oh, OK. So it's not a crossbody? No, no. it's not a backpack. So it's, it's a you bag. It's a very me bag. It it's is fine. a you bag, yeah. yeah. It's going to take me about two hours to put it all on. <laughs> you need to derobe now. <laughs> right, let me get started. I was going to be here all night. And two hours later, here he comes. Oh, well. I've arrived. Yeah, it is yeah. a bit like that, isn't it? No, don't, don't miss all the accessories. Don't miss them all. <laughs> I do feel slightly under-accessorised. Yeah, it's, 
way OTT. Hey, I couldn't, there's no way yeah. I could make this work. But the thing is, right, <laughs> I look like I'm about to go pickpocket in. <laughs> I've just like thrown this all on, I've just stolen it. OK, so now he's Manchester's most conspicuous shoplifter. Can Jack do any better? From one extreme to the other, I'm hoping this time less is more. Looking forward to pizza. Ciao for now. I went a bit more plain this time, so I'm hoping sort of less is more. Uh, I've got like a plain white shirt. Nice, simple white shirt. Yeah. Yep. Can't go wrong. Um, and then I've got some tan collar shorts. Okay. <laughs> Legs are out. <laughs> I should have brought the fake tan. <laughs> <laughs> brown belt, brown shoes and a brownish bag to go with it. They've got little bees oh. on. Oh, I like okay, them. Okay, yeah. They're not terrible. No. They're a size two bees. Yeah, but they kind of go with the theme. The theme, the browns. Yeah. A lot of brown going on. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Simple. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just a basic belt. Yep. That's quite cute. Yeah. yeah. It's all neutral. Mm. Very neutral. It goes, so. He's played it safe, but I like that. Yeah. <laughs> After the last one, it's quite refreshing. <laughs> Managed to just quickly grab a few necklaces to go as well. So we've got some chains, simple. Yeah. And then an, oh, another chain, just yeah. nice, layered. I like that second one. Let's get it on and we'll assess from yeah. there. Let's see, let's oh, see, let's see. Right. <laughs> oh! So I'm going to the beach. <laughs> it's like really cute. It. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I think it's got the Italian vibe. Yeah. It it's... has. The shoes I'm worried about, but that's fine. Yeah. Looks nice. nice. As an overall thing, I think it's quite... Yeah. I, I would wear this, yeah. something similar. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. and I like the um, chains. The chains are cute. I think that was a nice little detail. Doesn't look like you just nicked them, then. It's on point. It's very, like, yeah, Still with the good. vibe. It does look like you're on holiday in Italy. Yeah. So. <laughs> Hope the weather's all right outside. <laughs> <laughs> so, which outfit will Harvey decide to wear on his date? Sam's ultra-sparkly pickpocket look? Or Jack's beachwear slash schoolboy shorts and shirt combo. The boys are about to find out. I'm a bit nervous after the uh, the first video where he was ripping everyone's outfit, so I guess we'll see. I'm, I'm really nervous, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, I don't think he's going to hold back. No, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. I'm competitive, so I mean, just for argument's sake, I, I want to win the date, yeah, and I'm pretty hungry, so I'll pack some pizza. <laughs> I'm going to be looking for shorts. If I can see flesh on the legs, then I know I've lost. So. Hopefully, he's got a massive smile on his face and he's wearing a horse top. Here he comes. Will it be shorts or a smile? Or maybe even both? Hi. Hello. Hi. So, who is this one? This is me. Oh, my God. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. I mean, that last outfit. <laughs> yeah, it was... It was a mess. Bad. It was a mess. It was it a mess. Was. I'll take full responsibility. It was a mess. Yeah. I don't I know what to say about that T-shirt. He did not go being polite. There was no politeness. Just ripped that Band-Aid right off. It was disgusting. Well, thank you so much for your outfit. It was a pleasure. I mean, like a yeah! Happy it's birthday. Nice to yeah, Have a nice too. day. Thanks very much. You, you too. too. Enjoy you the too. pizza. See you we'll later. Up. We'll link up. <laughs> Ciao, guys. Bye. Yeah, he's a nice lad. I mean, probably not my usual type, uh, but we'll see what happens on the day. Jack's really nice. I think Jack's probably, like, one of the people I'd normally go for if I was somewhere. Um, but we'll see. Obviously, I think time will tell with the date. So, pizza making. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I'm Are you? Before, have you? No, I'm not a massive fan of cooking. So. Right, well, we'll <laughs> give it a try. Who knows where it's going to go? So, <laughs> should we head Yeah, off? let's go. Yeah, let's go. With both boys dressed in white, Harvey and Jack are now off to throw marinara sauce around for an hour in a pizza-making masterclass. Let's hope they get given aprons. OK, guys, hi. hi. So I'm going to show you how we make the pizza. Wonderful. Get your hands dirty. Yeah. So we take the dough, place it on the flour, and then you start to stretch the dough. Very tight. Like your pizza. <laughs> and then you can do this. Yeah? Or yeah. you can make it fly. <laughs> yeah. So we place it on the bench and there you go. That's a nice round pizza. And that's what you want us to do. Or you could just order one for delivery. So one ladle in the middle. Place the ladle there and then go around. Uh, is it? It's looking yeah. hard, tricky stuff. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I'm going to be any good at this. <laughs> we'll give it a try. Yeah. Who wants to start? 
After you. Me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this where Harvey reveals he's gluten intolerant? Right, so this is yeah. the sauce. Yeah, in the, all of it in the middle. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> this is not for me. And then just wonderful. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Look at that. It's natural. I am doing well, a born you know. Italian. There we go. <laughs> Mushroom. I don't really want to put my hands in there, I'm not going to lie. They're mushrooms. You wouldn't last two seconds and I'm a celebrity. Bit of spinach. Wonderful. Stunning. Do you know what? It looks great. Oh, wonderful. You're making such a mess. No, he's making a pizza. Where's it going? Doing? What if it drops off? Where's it going? Oh, there. no. And then... Just pull it out. Do it, like... Bits, bits, bits. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Take it out, it. take it out. There we That's go. That's fine. That's perfect. Not for me. That's I'm not going to make any shit. <laughs> but the proof is in the eating. Will their pizzas have them a mama mearing themselves silly? Thank you. Mine's perfectly round. Look at it. This is great. <laughs> Spot on. Amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. I mean, I didn't really do a lot, so I feel like you did have most of the credit well, for this. What did you think about trying to get it on that plate? It was hard to get it to them, wasn't it? I just don't think I'm cut out for the whole, like, slave labour work. <laughs> I feel like Give it's it too a try. Much. I gave it a go. Did you? I think we're making good conversation, chatting away. Um, I don't know. I really don't know what to, not to make them. Um, you seemed a bit standoffish and sort of not wanting to get involved, so I'd rather have got stuck in and just got on with it, but, yeah, just one of them. Well, after all that complaining about the pizza-making and one another, it's time to find out if Jack and Harvey want to see each other again. Good shuffling. Three... Two, one. No one could have seen that coming. <laughs> OK. <laughs> it's quite convenient. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Uh, I've enjoyed the day. Uh, yeah. I've had a good laugh. You're a good... <laughs> you are funny. Um, I just think we're from two opposite ends of the yeah, world. Yeah, I think we are. <laughs> Not no. that much in common. No. Um, but, yeah, I've had a good day. Yeah, same. Yeah, um, I wasn't surprised. Did get on well. Um, I think he was probably feeling the same as me. Just wasn't really a connection there. The shoes are going in the bin on the way home. Um, the shirt on back key, the shorts I don't need, and the bag is definitely going in the bin. Still, at least you got a free pizza. Another entertaining program at 